and welcome back to the How I Ripped Off Buffy the Vampire Slayer podcast. I notice every time I do that, you nod your head. Well, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. It's like, yep, that's the name of the podcast. Congratulations. <laughs> and, and this is Chip Season 1, Episode 10. Mm. Double figures for episodes for Chip. Mm. Wow. Uh, one in two, <laughs> part two. Hasn't been cancelled yet. <laughs> what happened last time, MC? Well, um... Oh, wait. I'm Chip Thompson, this is MC. Yeah, okay, cool. No, do the thing. That would be me. Yeah, what happened last time? <laughs> so, you got Episode our names 10, in. and we got the format down. <laughs> So, um, Ridley has mentioned uh, a... You got his name right. Oh my God, what's oh happening? My God. <laughs> Episode 10, got the format down. <laughs> Ridley mentioned um, a, a blast from Chip's past, The One. Mm. Uh, the, the One in Two from the episode title, I guess. Yeah. Whatever that means. Yeah. Uh, so Chip didn't react well. No, there he has some... Uh, unresolved issues with a little the one. Bit, a little bit mm. of baggage there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Chip has kind of gone off the rails a little bit. Um, hasn't really been treating his friends very well. Surprise, surprise. It's well, not like he's friends? got a history of that. Are they friends? True, true, true. true. The friends, yeah. I think he's mostly concerned that he's going to have to heroically sacrifice himself yeah. again. <laughs> so, yeah, he's sort of one-track-minded, um, going after the one. Um, he... Uh, went off to a church he actually did some ninja stuff <laughs> which was quite refreshing um killed a bunch of demons and then one of them got away with something Book of the, that's the one um how could you forget <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a little team up between cat and ridley going on as well as they we try do. and help chip i guess as yeah. best as possible yeah yeah as much as he will allow them yeah <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into it then mc let's find out what's going to happen in i have to think about how i say this the one in two, part two. Yep. Two. <laughs> Previously on Chip. But you shouldn't feel remorse about his death, Chip. He was... I don't. Chip said in the coldest way Ridley had ever heard. Oh, well, that's all right then. Unfortunately, there's no rest for the wicked in the city that never sleeps. What now? Chip asked. Ever hear something called the one? <gasps> Ridley replied. Chip froze. Okay, okay, we'll be fine. Just gotta stop these demons, Ridley said. Where are they? Chip asked. We'll get to that, but I think you should know some more about the one. It's pretty heavy. Where? Chip yelled. Tell me! Abandoned church, 112th Street. Looks like I'm gonna need some help, Ridley said to himself, staggering out of the place. You're a friend of Chip's? Cat lost her stance a little. Yeah. Well, I was. With one mighty burst of strength, Chip pushed himself into the air, knocking all the demons back. Quickly dispatching the remaining demons, Chip made his way over to where the stand was. The book was gone. Oh no. Oh shit. We'll stop it, Cat said softly. You know, together. I don't think you want to be around me right now. You might get hurt. Cat came crashing down on table. <laughs> See, Chip said. He exchanged a look with a stationary Ridley before exiting the church. Who was there? She asked. Again, Chip hit the bar men with the shotgun. <laughs> and soon enough, you'll wish I would use the other end of this gun. Again, and again, and several more times before Mock cried out. Stop! I'm listening. Chip propped Mock up against the bar. The door to the demon bar was open a tiny amount. Ridley pushed it gently and stepped inside. He was greeted with the destruction Chip had created. Oh yeah, Chip went on a bit of a rampage in the demon bar trying he to track did. down those demons. He did, he did. And I believe the bar men were called yeah. Mock. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we named them. And he beat them up. He did. And put a shotgun to their face, maybe. They they pointed a shotgun at Chip and then he ninja his way out of it. <laughs> and, yeah. Broken tables and chairs, glass everywhere, the lights were out and a bloody person lying across the bar. I read that as a bloody person on the bar. They shouldn't be there. What a place for a bloody person. Sit in the stool, honestly. <laughs> Ridley hurried over to the person, made sure they were a person, and checked their pulse once he was sure. Oh, because it's a demon bar. Yeah. Right. right. I was confused by why he was checking they were a person. Right. Okay. Sure. Did he, like, lift them up by the tail and look between their legs? <laughs> Demons don't have buttholes. <laughs> No wonder they're so angry. 
Mark. Ridley stared as he recognised the bar man. Ah. Well, so it's Rec on Ginst. <laughs> Recon Ginst. Ridley said as he recon Ginst, the barman. That's the word for when you <laughs> see if somebody's a human or not. You see if they have a butthole. <laughs> Is it when you check if they're a pasty or not? <laughs> Jesus. That's a bit of a stretch. Well, well done. Yeah, yeah, Ginstus. Ginstus, yeah, 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 Ginstus, sure. yeah. There we go. Also, uh, I like because his name is Mark. It kind of sounds like Ridley is just directing Cat to mock the, <laughs> the unconscious person. Like, you are unconscious. You got beaten up by a rogue ninja. There's a, someone I play D&D with who mm. one of their abilities is a vicious mock. And oh, that's always vicious fun. Mock- yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Is he dead? Cat asked, standing in the doorway. No, he's alive. Badly beaten. Did Chip do this? Cat said after seeing Mock. Yes, he did. Chip replied. <laughs> where, where, was he just hiding under a table he's or something? A ninja. Or... <laughs> he was, he's, he's an actual ninja now. He's doing ninja stuff. Oh, yeah, finally. Yeah. After that year of training, he's finally putting it to good use. Both Ridley and Cat turned to face Chip, who was sitting in the corner of the dark bar. Brooding, no doubt. Ah, oh, classic. He had his feet up on one of the tables and a bottle of what looked to be whiskey in one hand. Wasn't there a thing in Tomorrow Gayson where it was like, he had four pints and two shots? <laughs> yeah, wasn't it when he was going out for a drink with Scoot? Yeah, And he got a bit it. drunk and then yeah. Shino Khan was hiding in the toilets. Yeah, also yeah. getting drunk. <laughs> I think that's one of my favourite episodes. Because yeah. <laughs> it's got drink, uh, drunk Shino Khan, yeah. it's got Scoot and Chip out on the Raz. <laughs> Both Ridley and Kat turned to face Chip, who was sitting in the corner of the dark bar. He had his feet up on one of the tables and a bottle of what looked to be whiskey in one hand. Wah! He had information about the bad guys. Chip slid his feet off the table and stood up. You know the bad guys, Cat? The ones you've been beating on and killing, yet no one knows why? I oh. mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, Chip, we can calm down. He's such a bad boy with his feet on the table. Bottle of whiskey. <laughs> I bet he like, flips up his leather jacket and like <laughs> turns the collar up. He's wearing sunglasses, even though it's <laughs> yeah. dark inside. But yeah, first time to really question Cat and corner out on these demons that are after her. Yeah. Mm. Chip, man, what's going on? This isn't like you. Ridley pleaded. Actually, Ridley, you'd be surprised. Chip took another swig from the bottle before throwing it across the room. It's so bad. (laughs) It smashed the instant it hit the wall of the bar. Drink for the bottle of whiskey hitting the oh, wall? Yeah, that's yeah. True. yeah. How ironic. <laughs> <laughs> you have to throw your drink at the wall. Yeah. I don't even like whiskey. You've been like this ever since I mentioned the one. Who's the one? Cat wondered. Death. Chip simply replied. Or heroic sacrifice. Yeah. Depending on how you look at it. <laughs> you raised it before, didn't you? Back in Tokyo. Ridley guessed. Ooh, finally putting the pieces together. Yeah, for a man that allegedly knew everything about yeah. Chip, and then was like, I need to learn everything about Chip. <laughs> Someone better warn these demons. Chip paced the bar. The one. It don't like being told what to do. It's got its own agenda. Couldn't even control my own. Should have known. Should have thought it through more. The damage it did. The way it destroyed things. It was like art. <laughs> He's only been seeing like some Jackson Pollock kind of. <laughs> Chips just had a, a, a visit to the Tate Modern apparently. Yeah. <laughs> we need to stop it. Ridley yelled. Where is the sword of Engram? You said it didn't exist. Chip looked down at his feet. Oh yeah, the convenient sword of Engram, the only thing that could kill the one that got destroyed by the one. Yeah, it yeah, snapped. It snapped in half, didn't it? Because was it uh, Jason that was guarding it, and he had the little chap oh, with yeah. him see who brought it, and then uh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, technically it did exist, it just got broken. Yeah. 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 <gasps> but we cut them, see. Tokyo, two years ago. Any request to which of your friends I name first? It asked in a menacing voice. Oh, <gasps> back to giving myself throat problems. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken you two seasons to recover from that. <laughs> that was the first thing he heard when Chip came to. There were multiple bumps on his head. And he lay in a pit of dust and rock. Oh, is this when Chip first signed it? Ah, must ah. be. Shaking himself off. Shake it off. Shake it <laughs> Sorry. Any Chip excuse. loves a bit of tai <laughs> It's a banger of a song. Shaking himself off, Chip looked around, waiting for his double vision to disappear. He could hear the sound of fighting. The one was pretty easy to make out. Not many giant blue demons in the world. 
The other figure, who was it? Didn't take long for Chip to see it was MC, and he didn't seem to be having better luck than when Chip himself had fought the one back at the mall. I hope oh. I can I hope I can remember MC's voice. <laughs> you might struggle with that, especially yeah. after the one. But I actually think this is the end battle oh, rather than but you when mean on. when Chip when the moment came. Oh, flashback to when he heroically sacrificed himself, the most important event in Chip's life. Thank God you never mentioned that. <laughs> the warehouse was all but destroyed. Hopefully it was abandoned. <laughs> the rubble was everywhere. Chip stood on wobbly legs as he watched MC crawl over the rubble away from the one. Let's get a bit of an MC cameo in Chip. Yeah. And it's a flashback, but he would have had to come to the set for Chip oh, yeah. to record it's a, it again. It's a few days paid work, isn't it? <laughs> the sword of Engram. Chip could see it only two feet or so away from where MC was heading. This would be it. If MC could pierce the flesh of the one, then all this would be over. Only, that didn't happen. The one snapped the sword like it was twig. (laughs) Now, there was no chance. Chip started to make his way out of the warehouse, avoiding the fight between MC and the one. Something caught the eye of Chip as he walked away. His favourite sword. Oh, I remember the favourite swords. Oh, they both had favourite yeah, swords. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they've both been broken numerous mm. times or something, or they returned for no reason. And But yeah, Chip's favourite sword. What a callback. It was laid out in front of him. There was a way to end it. What? <laughs> the old HS. <laughs> you didn't think it would be as easy as that, did you, Ninja? The one asked. But all MC could see was the figure walking towards them. His gaze also drew the attention of the one. Both were now looking at Chip coming towards them. Chip! MC tried again. Then the one realised. No! It cried. It was too late. Chip ran to the sharp-tipped sword into his own stomach, causing his intestines to be skewered and his spleen to burst (laughs) all in one go. (laughs) <laughs> spleen is the most <laughs> vital organ in the body. Uh, I'm trying to remember if that's the exact text from the way that season ended. Probably. I think it might have been. I think I might have just ripped off myself. <laughs> <laughs> he fell to his knees, as did the one. You killed yourself to save the world? Cat asked after Chip had finished talking. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Quite heroic, wasn't it? Such a sacrifice I made. <laughs> if only there was a term that I just I just can't think of anything that would kind of sum it all up after what happened. I can see how you'd make that connection, but I did it because I'd lost all control of everything. Being humble here. <laughs> just like, oh, I mean, heroic is kind of a big word, you know? Like, I guess, sure, I was scared, but it was for the greater good. Chip. Ridley moved forward, stepping over the broken tables in the bar. This isn't the same. You have control. You can stop this. Millions of people don't need to die because you can't deal. Oh, there goes all the psychology and the therapy again. Yeah. (laughs) They seem to be taking it quite calm as well that Chip raised this demon to kill his friends and Uh, it was going to destroy the world. And I guess in a way they didn't see like the one directly, right? There has been no like world ending demons and apocalypses happening every other week. But still, Chip... Did this? Yeah, true. He's responsible for this. True. And they're I mean, just they like, knew he you saved just you saved the world. Oh, how impressive! <laughs> they, they're aware he's not the fluffiest of people or the most well-adjusted. The fluffiest. <laughs> what <laughs> of all the adjectives you could have gone with then? <laughs> fluffiest. Now that's Ridley. Remember. <laughs> Before Ridley could say another word, Chip, not for the first time that day, threw Ridley across the room Drink. and headed for the door. Cat stood out in front of him. Just gonna keep running? Get out of my way. Why? You gonna beat on me some more? Go ahead, see what difference it makes. You wanna be the evil son of a bitch that nearly destroyed the world? Things are a lot clearer when you don't give a damn. Oh, Ooh, a bottle, switch. Of, bottle of whiskey back for that line. <laughs> <laughs> Just picks up another one and throws it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why you suck to be an evil chip. I don't know what issues you've got, Chip, but you do give a damn. It's something I've seen. Chip has issues? <laughs> has he tried dealing? <laughs> Just get over it, mate. Come on. That's what, that's the best way to... <laughs> Just build a bridge and get over it. <laughs> Have you tried thinking positively? <laughs> <laughs> what if you weren't depressed? <laughs> Just go for a run, mate. It's the endorphins. Chip swallowed hard and looked at Cat. She didn't break eye contact. 
I... He started to say, but was interrupted when something screamed out behind him. Turning, Chip just caught the last glimpses of Ridley mutating. Ooh. <gasps> well, I guess, you know, if you get thrown against a wall by your best friend, well, a friend, <laughs> so, uh, someone you know. The only friend he has. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for like the second time today, it's going to piss you off. It will. Yeah. Ridley smash. Yeah. <laughs> no. Dudley no, that's smash. copyrighted. No, no smashing because he's not up the. He's not anything that's already copyrighted by a big corporation, MC. Dudley. No crush. <laughs> oh dear, that's canon now. <laughs> Ridley rushed Chip, who knocked him back with a kick to the midsection. Ridley got up again, swinging wildly with rights and lefts, which Chip blocked. But the moment Ridley got on close, he wrapped his mutated arm around Chip's waist and looked with his human arm. And began to squeeze. I'm sorry, he looked with his human arm. Locked it? I guess he must have meant locked it. He looked with his human... He looked it with his human arm. <laughs> is he just giving him a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Chip. Everything's going to be okay. Chip's just so confused with this display of actual affection. is like, well, he must be attacking me. Ridley Cuddle! <laughs> uh-huh. It was Cap that stepped in, laying in a big punch to Ridley's face to break the bear hug. It was a hug. Aww. Bear hug! Because he's a teddy. Oh. oh! I knew it. See, I planned it all along. <laughs> Chip spun and kicked Ridley back, but still he didn't stay down. Cat confronted him, kicking his thigh and swinging a back elbow, which Ridley caught and headbutted the back of her head. It's like a triple threat match at this point, isn't it? <laughs> They've all just been fighting each other all day. She fell back into Chip's arms. Are they going to kiss? <laughs> have sex out in there while not Hulk Ridley watches. <laughs> Ridley watch. <laughs> oh, God, I've got these different pictures of the Incredible Hulk now and I don't want the in my head. <sighs> I'm not going to be the how... Hulk goes dogging. <laughs> Imagine that. No, there you are. I don't want nice to. Nice evening out. Dogging with your partner. You look over, you see the window steaming up and there's a Hulk just <laughs> squatting down, looking in through the car window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't, because now I'm not going to be able to have another sexual encounter without imagining some half Hulk, half teddy bear wanking one out. You're welcome. <laughs> she fell back into Chip's arms. She went to look up at him and say thank you, but she daren't. His wild, unpredictable look had returned, and before she could try and calm him down again, he threw her straight into the charging <laughs> Ridley, sending them both down. I told you it was a triple threat match. Yeah. By the time Cat had gotten back to her feet, Chip was gone. Ridley stood up next to her and mutated back into his human form. Oh, can he do that at will then? Or I, I mean, there's been... Has there been hints of him kind of gaining control over the thing? There was the moment in Ridley's apartment when Chip first found out where he kind of guiled Ridley into mutating, like yeah. got him angry, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. he managed to calm down then. Yeah. So maybe he has got a semi-handle on it. Maybe it's just that kind of rush of adrenaline or something like that that mm. gets him going, and then, well, not like that, but like, you know, the, <laughs> oh, this, this is going to make things difficult now. Ridley's got so much going on. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. got a lot going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the time Cat had gotten back to her feet, Chip was gone. Ridley stood up next to her and mutated back into his human form. What the hell is it with you two? You just left randomly attacking each other or what? Ridley held his leg. That hurt. He said. Did he go? Yeah, he used me as a human shield and part of Houdini. You've got some explaining to do, Buster. Like the fact you're a demon? Part. Ridley corrected. I was infected. Besides, that's not the issue here. Okay, you want to fill me in with what in God's name is wrong with Chip? Uh, long time. Oh, <laughs> you got, oh, God. <laughs> you got the day. Ridley pulls out this huge tome. <laughs> Ridley sighed. About two years ago, before he came to New York, Chip lived in Tokyo where he tried to destroy the world. He was chosen for some ancient ninja gig, protectors of the world and all that, after his entire... <laughs> Sorry, just to sort of like poo-poo that, like, ah, uh, ninja you know, gig, you understand, standards. right? Yeah. Oh yeah, we've all been there. Trade yeah, for a year. Uncle done that, yeah. <laughs> he was chosen for some ancient ninja gig, protectors of the world and all that, after his entire family was killed. Things get kind of hazy in the middle, but he flipped. I guess he didn't deal with it all and tried to end his suffering by ending everything. 
didn't deal with it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Did he try dealing with it? <laughs> Did he just try and get over it? Did he have a nap? And he used this one thing to try and do it? Bingo. But couldn't keep Doggy on the leash, so killed himself to end the world. How does that work again? Well, you heroically sacrifice yourself. <laughs> I just like, but couldn't keep the doggy on the leash. <laughs> They're really good at downplaying everything that's going on, aren't they? Person, that one. But it worked nonetheless. Anyways, after spending a few decades in hell, he is brought back. All to save the life of his ex-buddy's newly born daughter. <laughs> this is some exposition and a half, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Don't need to, need to listen to the other podcasts now. <laughs> Saving you so much time. Because <laughs> it all makes sense if you just have this... <laughs> This is all a bit much to take in, Cat said, reaching for a bottle on the bar. I wonder if she'll throw it against the wall. <laughs> Tell me about it. Now, we've got to try and stop this thing ourselves and hope our pal Chip isn't on the path to the dark side again. How come you know so much about him? I hear a lot of things, Riddy replied, taking the bottle off Cat and drinking himself. And when I heard about a mythical Ku Claw ninja coming to town, I just had to find out why. I always fancied myself as a bit of a John Wine... John Wine? John Wine? <laughs> it's the emo version of John Wine. <laughs> I always fancied myself as a bit of a John Wayne type character. Just never had the stones. But I figured, if I can help Chip fight evil, save the innocent, then maybe I get to be that hero one day. Is this the explanation I've come up with as to why Bridley went to Chip? I guess. Because I always thought he was going to literally do a Doyle thing where he was like, oh, I did a bad thing and I need to atone for it. Uh, it, it seems like he just wanted a piece of the action. It, yeah, I guess maybe maybe it's a dissonance of like deep down he wants to be good the good guy, but he's led yeah. this sort of dodgy life, you know, scamming demons, always on that sort of like in a bad environment because yeah. there are demons. Then yeah. he's got bitten by a demon as well, so maybe that sort of altered his perception of himself. Makes and... sense. Oh, you're really good at that. Still, so good. Four seasons and a spin-off in, and you can still explain this piece of shit. <laughs> Fascinating, Cat sarcastically said, snatching the bottle back. How come you didn't know Chip's connection with this one? I never asked, Riddy replied. Where am I even going to start looking? The homeless lady gave Chip a strange look as she pushed her trolley past. He thought it somewhat ironic. Oh no. <laughs> oh God. He thought it somewhat ironic she was giving him strange looks for talking to himself. So homeless people are crazy. Oh. Have they tried dealing with it? <laughs> the street was empty. No decent living human being <laughs> would want to walk alone at night down this block. Because oh. all homeless people are crazy <laughs> and also none of them are decent. I, th I think I mean it's just a dodgy area. No, you hate the homeless. <laughs> we established this. You couldn't resist one more dig at them. There's a lot of bad mouth in the homeless, isn't there? <laughs> Worryingly so. Old abandoned churches? That's all I've got to go on? I'll never find them. Not before it's too late. Out of sheer frustration, Chip rugby kicked the trash can in front of him. It went sky high, spilling out its contents. I got a weird mental image of the... The the trash can just sort of going like straight up like a firework. Oh. And then I've got some weird sort of physics, <laughs> broken kind of images in my head. Ninja physics? Yeah. Well, it didn't go in the wall. <laughs> so no drink for you. Yeah. You can't throw your bottle of whiskey, I'm afraid. <laughs> Those bloody creatures. They have no idea what they're dealing with. He was yelling now, walking that bit faster. I doubt there's anyone who can understand what is running through my mind right now. Except for maybe the criminally insane. Accurate, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> he fell, tripping over a hole in the cracked pavement. Lying on the floor, he said to himself, I shouldn't be here. I should have stayed where I belong. But I was brought back for a higher purpose. He punched the floor. Who gets to decide? Maybe I haven't fulfilled that fate yet. Shin Okar never did get a chance to say why. I like how you don't know how to express Chip's inner thoughts <laughs> through... <laughs> Any means but having him literally saying them out loud. <laughs> uh, if it was a comic, we'd, we'd have like a little box we could write them in. But because this isn't a comic or a TV show, I have to literally write, Chip is saying what he's thinking. <laughs> but I guess I'm trying to get across the how crazy he is at the moment. Yeah, and sure. It's, it's, I think I'm playing off the, the time that Chip, after he'd raised the one and mm. was feeling a little bit sorry about it, and he was just kind of rambling to himself, and he oh, was, yeah. you know, I think it's kind of playing on that. Beat your guy maybe. to death. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Those... Watch out, homeless lady. 
<laughs> He'll kick your trolley. A flash of pain entered Chip's gut. He rolled over in pain. Then he realised. I can still sense it. Getting up, Chip searched around, trying to find where this feeling was coming from. He headed west. The Book of Impropus. Ooh, so he's got some sort of mystical connection. Is that from when he stabbed himself? No, I think there was a thing with him in the one where he had some sort of connection to it because he was the razor, right. as I coined it. I think he had some sort of psychic connection with the one. Interesting. I guess that extends to the Book of Improbus as well for some reason because it's the same mystical energy. Sure. Why That's not? what we're going to go with. Cool. The graveyard at the back of the church was massive, but none of the headstones, crypts or, and tombs seem to be from this centauri. Hey, centauri <laughs> is back. There's, we should do like a top ten list of words and phrases that I could never spell. <laughs> yeah. Barman, centauri. Living. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the church itself was derelict, falling apart by the minute. Blimey. <laughs> it's an urgently decaying church. That would explain why all the remaining demons were sitting outside. Having a picnic. <laughs> oh, they should invite Ridley. They'd congregated around the back so as not to be seen by the human public. I like that I can spell congregated, but I can't spell century. <laughs> but Chip had found them. His connection with the book remained, and he had managed to track it down to this location. The demons didn't seem to be performing the ritual. In fact, most of them were slumped against headstones and sitting on graves, smoking, eating and drinking. It is a picnic. It's, a, it's literally a picnic, yeah. They're going to bring out well, like a net at the moment and start playing volleyball over it. But you know the bad guys because they're smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they've got their feet on the table. <laughs> Standing in the shadow of the huge church, Chip was well hidden and he was able to watch the demons relaxing while still being fairly close to them. Hey, he's been on injury again. Hey. hey. Only eight remained. He couldn't actually see the book, but he felt it, and it had been placed inside one of the large tombs one of the demons was sitting on. Its call was twice of powerful around all this death. It was about to get more. Was that a thing? It is now. Cool. <laughs> I guess there was stuff about, like, sacrificing... Heroically sacrificing. Well, yeah, but the book required, like, a blood sacrifice or something? Yeah, well, the, wasn't it the blood of those who care about the razor? Sure. I think that was the terminology. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we remembered that. Chip had two weapons in his hands, a knife and the spiked mallet he had taken from the previous church. Yeah, one of the demons had it. Oh, I thought he just, like, found one. <laughs> in the <their> church. <laughs> it was in the trash can that he kicked. <laughs> Ooh, toys! He watched the demon sitting on top of the tomb take a swig from his bottle of booze and throw the knife with pinpoint accuracy. I guess I meant through the knife, but throw and yeah, throw the knife. Because it sounds like the demon is both simultaneously drinking and throwing a knife. Yeah. It smashed the glass into a hundred different pieces and split the demon's jaw, slicing through its cheek and piercing its brain. Got an interesting idea of anatomy there. <laughs> I'm trying to work it out. I guess it came in at an angle through the jaw. Like through the bone of the jaw? Well, like underneath it, like the fleshy okay. bit under your chin, maybe? And the cheek, though? Split the demons. Um, uh, maybe. Hmm. It's got a cheek. <laughs> Demon cheeks are be above the jaw. You know what it is? Yeah. The demon had a magnet in its brain. Ah. And it's just followed through the face Makes as it's sense. gone up. Sure. Yeah, there we go. Figured it out. <laughs> The demons slowly started to rally, but Chip had the jump on them. As they struggled up, looking for their weapons of more mallets, axes and spears, the ninja clubbed the nearest one to him, smashing its ribs with the mallet. The second demon, unable to remove its axe from the ground, decided to leave it and swung with wild punches at Chip. He easily dodged them, shooting his right leg out and snapping the demon's knee by pushing it the wrong way. It fell to the ground and Chip brought the mallet down with such force, the demon's head exploded. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of when, uh, back in Tomorrow Gason, when mm. uh, MC was going into the um, nest. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Shirak, yeah. And uh, was just like, just killing the demons as quick as humanly possible in the most graphic way possible. Mm. I guess the thing is, though, that, like, they've been ninjas and been fighting demons and whatever for so long, mm -hmm. they're really good at it. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's a natural progression. Yeah, and also it's like that this is a... A sign of how brutal and whatever they're being, like in that particular mm. state of mind. I wonder if that's a reoccurring theme. Oh, something that I put in to, to... stuff. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs>
Two more demons jumped Chip, forcing him down. The three of them tumbled down a short hill on the edge of the graveyard, heading towards the church. Chip was up first, spinning and catching one of the demons in the head with a kick, knowing him down. <laughs> it's just like kicked him, he's like, I know everything about you. I feel your pain, I know what you've been through in life. The second demon grabbed Chip from behind, pinning his arms to his side. Maneuvering from position, okay, maneuvering from position, he pushed his legs off the ground, sending him and the demon back. They crashed through one of the old wooden foundations of the church, allowing Chip to get free. But it's falling apart by the minute. <laughs> this is going to exacerbate that, isn't it? <laughs> falling apart by the second. <laughs> is it just falling down at that point? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good point. They crashed through one of the old wooden foundations of the church. To be fair, if your foundations are made of wood, it's probably going to fall down. <laughs> allowing Chip to get free. Dust, wood and rock fell from above as Chip and the demon engaged. Oh, how romantic. I'm glad he finally found someone because, you know, him and Kat weren't really working out. It's when he kicked him and he was like, he just felt everything he knew oh, about okay. the demon. He had a connection, King. an instant oh. connection. Eyes met from across the room. He dropped his spike mallet. They're already in a church. I mean, it's falling down. Oh. But come on, they're going to save so much money. They have to plan. You've got the days set up, ready to go. And the, the one is blue as well. So that's only one thing. Oh, yeah. They stole the book of your promise. Yeah, and bought. Borrowed. Something thought, blue, something borrowed, something. I don't think you steal old. stuff. <laughs> it's always like. It's, but, but they, they borrowed. They don't count the, as borrowed. They borrowed them. Okay. Uh, something old, the church. Church, yeah. Something new? Their love. That <laughs> <laughs> is very new, it's mm. true. Hitting the ground, Chip wrapped his foot around the back of the demon's knees, sweeping it to the ground and pouncing on it. Hey, Cardi Moon already? <laughs> The demons were strong, if not greatly skilled, and it was difficult trying to strangle one as it was able to fend him off. And there's the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Sensing the other demon lunging with its axe from behind, Chip rolled off his foe, making the demon miss and almost cutting its fellow demon in half. Chip quickly took the axe, buried a knee into the demon's stomach and caught it with a blow to the back of the head using the handle of the axe. With it down, Chip removed its head with one clean swoop of the axe. You're, very, you're really uh, telegraphing the fights now, aren't you? You're really sort of going through and thinking about it blow by blow. Yeah, I was trying. Yeah, we've said this seamless. before, but yeah, I'm very much trying to make these better and good. Mm. Failing, but... Are you doing that? It is all right. Like, yeah, I've definitely yeah. read, read worse. <laughs> Are you in tomorrow, Gason, but... Oh, yeah, like last week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you remember the like early, early episodes of season one, it was like... They, they had a fight. They did a fight and they won because <laughs> they are good at fighting. <laughs> Covered in dust and dirt, Chip made his way out of the old church and saw the remaining three demons had loaded up with weapons and had spread out into an equal line, preparing themselves for battle. It was obvious they had been in many wars before. And we don't know anything about these demons, right, other than that they're trying to raise the one. There's been no sort of backstory or reason as to why they're trying to do that. No. I don't think that was no, established, so. was it? No. Looking around at his surroundings, Chip leapt high into the air, catching hold of a wooden beam that held strong as he started to climb out of the demon's sight. They exchanged confused glances and clutched their weapons tighter, moving towards the church. Oh, he's ninjaing again! Yeah, he's doing like a Batman kind of thing, nice. like into the darkness and like you know, like the takedowns and like Arkham Asylum. You, you inspired that game. <laughs> Chip's going to be an event, and he's going to pop out. <laughs> they looked up but couldn't see anything in the darkness. They eventually had to look away as the dust started to fill their big eyes. This is when Chip struck, swinging down from high above, clotheslining two of the demons. The other yelled aggressively and charged at Chip, who ducked down low and buried the axe into the demon's belly. He didn't have time to retrieve it as he was attacked again by a demon wielding a spear. It trying to stab Chip a few times before the ninja caught it and tried to yank it away, but the demon was too big and strong. He pulled the demon in close and with one hand struck the middle of the spear, breaking it in two. He pushed the sharp end into the demon's face. Did it like cross the jaw, split the cheek and pierce the brain? <laughs> it went through his kidney, <laughs> around his ankle and out the ear. <laughs> the one remaining demon ran straight at Chip, who used the demon's own momentum against it, throwing it forwards into a section of the church. It collapsed almost immediately. Yeah, because it's decaying by the millisecond. It collapsed immediately, burying the demon under a ton of wood and stone. Chip watched for a few seconds before deciding it was safer for him to leave the crumbling church. He heard a voice, or what sounded like a voice in his head. The book. 
He walked towards the tomb as the church started to collapse around him. <laughs> he found the tomb and shoved the dead demon's body off the top. The stone lid was heavy, but Chip was in no mood to do battle with his own body strengths, throwing the lid off the tomb. Reaching for the book, Chip felt a surge of power rush through his body, sending multiple shivers down his spine and around his body. He opened the book, straight to the passage he wanted. Oh. <gasps> Tonight, it ends for good, he said to himself as the wind started to pick up in the graveyard. What's he doing? Holding the book in one hand, Chip started to read the Latin passage out loud. Oh no! The wind got more ferocious. Reading Latin from a book never ends well. <laughs> Is he summoning the one? Is that what he's doing? Or is it? Is this what we're meant to think? And it's actually like, kill the one passage. All right, well, don't kill the drama of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're meant to believe that maybe he's raising the one because he says tonight it ends for good. Yeah. And that could mean I'm going to end the world for good this time yeah. and finally put myself out of my misery. Yeah. Or it could mean I'm going to kill the one or use Somehow. stop it from ever coming back yeah. or something like that. But yeah, you have now spoiled for everyone. Cool. So you're welcome. Great. Yep. <laughs> also, where is this church in New York? Because all right, I mean, I guess I in my head I'm thinking New York City, but obviously New York is a state and yeah, it's quite spread yeah, out. Yeah. So there's just this church that's crumbling very quickly. Mm. There's a bunch of demons chilling outside it, smoking with large weapons, <laughs> and then a massive fight has taken place where the church has completely collapsed. <laughs> But there's no sirens going off. There's no people calling the cops. I or guess anything. it's been it's been quite quick. It's only been a few minutes or something. Yeah, that's true. I guess. Yeah, yeah. But still, it, I'm, where is this old abandoned church in New York City? In, in New York. <laughs> <laughs> the car nearly toppled over in the strong winds and rose up on two wheels as cats slammed on the brakes outside of the crumbling church. So now it's just crumbling really slowly. Is it? Because. It was like, yeah, it's gone, it's collapsed. But now they, the cat and Ridley have arrived and it's just like it's little bits of stone just falling off. and it, It's reformed itself. <laughs> she and Ridley hurried out of the car and stared at the church. I can't believe we committed two acts of GTA in one night. Ridley said, looking at the car they had stolen outside the demon bar. I swore on my mother's life I would never do that again. <laughs> what, commit two acts of GTA in one night? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> I know you said just one. You said only do odd numbers. One, three, five, that's fine. That's right, they can steal a car for the way home. Okay, that's yeah, right. Yeah, will be fine. <laughs> also, how do they know where Chip is? We'll, maybe we'll find out. Ooh. Shut up for a second, would you? Cat snapped. Are you sure this is the right place? This is what Mark mumbled when he came to. What, Never. old church that's slowly <laughs> falling apart, but also very quickly falling apart? <laughs> oh yeah, I know the one! <laughs> Just then, half the church caved in on itself, and the wind continued to grow. Ah, uh, okay, so this is, they appeared just before the... Oh, the oh okay, so we've kind of gone back in time yeah, slightly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Something's wrong. Ridley said, moving in front of Cat. The book. Chip's reading from it. He and Cat ran around the rubble of the church, and headed to the graveyard at the back. Cat overtook Ridley and reached the graveyard first, seeing Chip standing on top of the tomb, eyes closed, speaking a language she didn't understand. That's so goth, isn't it? Standing on a tomb in a, like, a crumbled church graveyard, <laughs> yelling Latin from an old book. Playing cr Cradle of Filth. <laughs> I think I'd probably go with Sisters of Mercy, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. it's more trad goth, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Chip! Stop! She cried out. He paused reading and looked at her. This has to be done, he yelled back. What do we do? Cat asked Ridley. He didn't reply. He had already mutated into his demon half and was sprinting toward Chip. So it looks like he's got some control of it then if he's able to sort of slip in yeah, into out of it. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, absolutely. The ninja noticed and dropped the book. Jumping from the tomb, he speared Ridley coming towards him, taking him off the ground. <laughs> The thing is, if you don't know about wrestling and the spear <laughs> being a wrestling move, it sounds like he literally just grabbed a spear and just fucking stabbed Ridley. Killed his only friend. <laughs> the New York native headbutted Chip, knocking him off him. This time, it was Ridley's turn to pin Chip down, laying in with big right hands that the ninja did nothing to block until the fourth one came. He caught Ridley's fist, kneed him in the groin and threw him off with one hand. Getting back to his feet, Chip found Cat in front of him. She held a martial arts stance. Is that a hint? A kind of like a style? Like, because obviously she's so strong and trained and well, stuff. Well, we, I mean, we know she, she can fight. And in mm. this 
this is before MMA and stuff. So it's yeah. like if you want to be good at fighting, you go train a martial art. <laughs> she for did a cry year. for a week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she yeah. got to a brown belt. <laughs> We're not gonna do this, she said. You have to stop. His eyes burned a hole right through her. It never stops. Not till this is finished. Chip turned his back and walked back toward the book. Cat ran and leapt onto his back, trying to pull him back. I've said back and book and so many times in these last few sentences. <laughs> Didn't Cat have a gun before? Did she have a gun? She shot a demon. Oh, she doesn't have it now. <laughs> Slipping his arm under hers, Chip was able to pull Cat off him and take her to the ground. She kipped straight up and started to lay into Chip. He blocked a few of her shots and took the rest, not fighting back. Covering up, Chip took the multiple wild punched cat threw at him. She began to yell, her rage and frustration growing. Finally, Chip slipped one of the punches, spun and buried a kick into Cat's middle section, sending her flying back across the graveyard. Drink! <laughs> Did she hit a wall? She must have done. <laughs> the other half of the church collapses. <laughs> Riddy was back onto his feet, again charging. Chip quickly ripped a headstone out of the ground Jesus. and battered Ridley around his demon head with it, knocking him down to the floor. Dead. Dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> he killed Ridley. Again. He's already shoved a spear through him <laughs> and now he's caved in his skull with a headstone. <laughs> so, the, the fluctuating strength of Chip is crazy. <laughs> he ripped a headstone out of the ground. How much does like this weigh? I he hadn't seen a headstone in person at that point. <laughs> Chip quickly ripped a headstone out of the ground and battered Ridley around his demon head with it, knocking him down to the floor, dizzy and dazed. These aren't the same mistakes again, Chip said to a grounded Ridley. I won't allow it. He picked up the Book of Improbus again and walked towards the church, again chanting in Latin. Purple and black light started to flash from the book and in the surrounding area. The entire book became swamped in this light. Cat pushed herself up and tried to run towards Chip, holding her stomach. Demon Ridley could only watch from the distance. There we go, we've got a name for him now. Demon Ridley. <laughs> is this a thing where Chip is actually doing something good and he just doesn't tell them, even though he could literally <laughs> say, hey, I'm doing this now, No, Don't that's worry not what happens it. in TV shows, MC, <laughs> is it? They have to fight. <laughs> Cat is some sort of supernaturally trained fighter yeah we've got demon ridley and we've got a ninja they have to fight <laughs> it's like that shitty bit in comics where yeah. it's like somebody versus somebody <laughs> and then they just have a disagreement on like what pizza to order <laughs> and they're just so used to fighting is the only way they know how to solve problems it makes me think of spider-man and the human torch who got into so many fights into the early comics right because they like Miss see them coming out of a window or something they'd be like oh maybe Spider-Man is a bad guy after all I mean he saved the world 15 times but <laughs> maybe it looks like he walked away without paying for that newspaper <laughs> did the human torch just jaywalk <laughs> Cat pushed herself up and tried to run towards Chip holding her stomach Demon Ridley could only watch from the distance the light got more and more intense and Chip shouted louder reaching the end of the passage with the last few words, just before Cat could reach him, he threw the book into the falling church and hit the ground. The book exploded like a small nuclear device. It's got two, two settings. <laughs> Nuke or raise demon. <laughs> the purple and black lights smothered the entire block and the church burst into pieces and flames erupted. I like to think there's a little sign outside the church with like a save the church fund. <laughs> Five dollars out of five hundred thousand collected. Thank you for your support. <laughs> the collection team explodes as well. <laughs> Both Chip and Cat were thrown back from the blast. The church was nothing more than a huge bonfire now, as flamed bits of wood filled the graveyard like falling stars. Cat didn't know what was happening and dodged a piece of the debris. A multicoloured right hand appeared in front of her, Demon Ridley. He helped her up. <sighs> what? What's that? She asked, holding her stomach. She followed Ridley's gaze and saw Chip on his knees, his head bowed in front of him, and heard the sobs. Has he tried dealing with it? <laughs> Tokyo, one year ago. Laying naked on the cold, dank floor of the basement inside the mansion, Chip tried to control his fits of shaking, 
Oh, I missed the mansion. Oh. Like, just a little mention of it. I was like, oh, there's oh, lots good of exploding vi- buildings in this. <laughs> Churches, mansions. He could feel the cuts on his body and the bruises from the fall. He was aware, yet it all seemed like a dream. A shadow appeared over him and whispered words to him, which he barely understood. Spelled correctly this time. Ah, ah. no barley. Ah, so I was wondering if barley and barely should go on the list of words I can't spell. I, we've had a few barleys. Yeah, I, I think, think it's it probably... It's a favourite, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Then, like a television montage, it all came flooding back to him. Japan. Goo claw! Evil. The one. Death and hell. And now this. Where was he? Chip looked up at his master, Shin no Khan. Oh, Miss Shin no Khan as well. Oh, back in the... I'm getting nostalgic for this. This is troubling. <laughs> also, I like to think with a montage, it's got like time of your life playing in the background. <laughs> Green Day just in the corner of the room playing. <laughs> oh, Chip's being horribly tortured in hell. <laughs> <laughs> He's beating that guy to death. <laughs> Hope you have time of your life. Chip looked up at his master, Shin no Khan. Why? Why did you do it? He just about managed to say, Rest, Chip. You are weak and shall be for some time. Oh, did you miss doing that voice? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Chip's voice broke in the yell. Shin no Khan knelt down beside him and moved his ghostly hand over Chip's forehead. You were not meant for that place. The underworld is no place for a man of your abilities. And I missed you. I hope you had the time (laughs) of your life. (laughs) Chip started to sob. Trying to stand, he fell. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't live. (laughs) Method acting there, Chip. (laughs) Chip was sort of... I'm going to say he was groping me, even though that's not da- accurate, but it's funny. I was clinging. Groping. Yes, that's how I perform, I see. <laughs> he actually spent the last hour getting tortured <laughs> just to get in the right... Uh, also, I'd be a dude to death out the front. <laughs> that's unrelated, though. <laughs> I can't... I can't do it. I can't live. Someday, not now, and in the very near future... But eventually, whatever that means. <laughs> I'm sorry, when in the calendar am I marking it? So, not now <laughs> so or like, in the very near future. Like, but two eventually. Weeks or... <laughs> Someday, not now and in the very near future, but eventually, you will come to realise your purpose and the man you truly are. Chip's head slumped against the floor. Now get up! Shin no Khan commanded. So, this is obviously. Uh, you know, going back to when oh, Shinnecon yeah. brought um, Chip back from hell, yeah. or the hell dimension, whatever we want to call it. Yeah. Um, because we never, we kind of never really saw that. We just kind of saw Chip come back, and then this is kind of the aftermath of that. Yeah. Because it was yeah, like an yeah. ending to the episode, wasn't there? So yeah. there you go, a little flashback to mm-hmm. Chip being remorseful, I guess, like thinking he deserved to be in hell. Yeah. Because and he... not being able to deal with the, the the the. I mean, you said before, like being alive and having to deal with the horrific yeah, things he did yeah. was actually in in many ways more painful than hell yes so yes. yeah yeah but really nice to have shinno khan back i miss shinno khan yeah. and still really sad yeah that we never gave him a proper send-off because we thought he was coming I back was so certain he was going to be back <sighs> yeah. r.i.p shinno khan mm-hmm. r.i.p snk throw a drink against the wall in <laughs> in memory <laughs> well if it's shinno khan he's probably drink an entire bottle of whiskey True. get up the words echoed through Chip's head. Chip, buddy. The ninja looked up at the half-demon standing in front of him and took Ridley's hand. I'm not bad. Tears fell from Chip's eyes. I'm not bad. I know. Ridley said, mutating back to his human form. Come on, let's go home. Ridley helped Chip out of the graveyard, almost dropping him. The cat caught Chip's other arm. Together, they helped him into the car. Is this another car they've stolen or is it the same one? (laughs) Got to get that odd number, remember? <laughs> or Ridley's mum dies. <laughs> Chip muttered two faint words as he sat on the back seat of the car. I'm sorry. With a ton of cuts and bruises between them, with Chip, Cat and Ridley sitting in the ninja's apartment, it looked more like the waiting room at Casualty. For the past few hours since returning from the graveyard, Chip had been telling his life story to Ridley and Cat. And they had listened in. And they had listened in. 
not speaking or interrupting once, just occasionally looking away when the details became a little grim. And when I was five, <laughs> I <laughs> shat myself <laughs> explosively <laughs> at my grandma's funeral. It wasn't either for Chip either. <laughs> Whoa, what? I hate it when you're telling your life story <laughs> and it becomes either. And it wasn't either for Chip either. I guess easy for Chip? It sure. wasn't easy for Chip either. It wasn't either for Chip either. Every time he had ever been alone, the thoughts of what he had down in the last few years came back to haunt him. It's hard to be like serious and keep the drama when there's just so many spelling errors. They were always reminding him that no matter what he did, how many good deeds he could perform, he was still heading back to that hell. Although sometimes, just existing seemed hell enough. Definitely a goth. <laughs> That's what you said though, wasn't it? It's was literally what you said a minute yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's interesting, I guess we've never explored the idea that Chip is definitely going back. There's, yeah, no, redemption. there's no redemption for him. Yeah, he's going back there, but there, he's still... That means there will be a redemption. Later on, mm, there's I don't gonna know. Be... I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But that's a story for another time, MC. Okay. He wasn't a hero. Sure, he had saved people, even after his evil road trip. <laughs> <laughs> Where he got off and he saw the evil large ball of string. <laughs> he wasn't a hero. Sure, he had saved people, even after his evil road trip. But he hadn't saved the world and killed the one to protect millions of lives. He'd done it because he had come to the end of his rope. He didn't see any way out apart from death. And this was the first time he had said that out loud. Does that mean you have to shut the fuck up about heroically <laughs> sacrificing himself? Yeah, that's it. It's officially dead. We're not. Oh. Like, I'm putting a line through it now. That's it. Wow. Chip has finally taken some responsibility <laughs> for partial response. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I guess in a way, then, because you kind of look at evil Chip and everything yeah. that happened there is his really wild out there attempt at suicide and ending his own life. Yeah, yeah. You know, he wasn't... He was, I mean, yeah, the whole thing was, like, yeah, even raising yeah. the wand. Yeah. And, yeah. He wasn't strong enough to do it himself, so he just kind of went a bit crazy yeah. and he went on an evil road trip. <laughs> Step one, murder. Step two, theft. <laughs> Step three, drive through. <laughs> Be hungry by then. <laughs> Whoever said it was good to talk was very wrong. <laughs> Damn you, Bob Hoskins! <laughs> Whoever said it was good to talk was very wrong. Or so Chip thought. He was coming to the end of his life story, just finishing up telling how he had leapt off a cliff to save a baby from certain death. He didn't wait for a response from Ridley and Cat. If it's all the same, I'm pretty beat. I'm going to hit the sack for a few days. The three of them stood in an uncomfortable silence. I'm not sure how to say I'm sorry to you guys. Chip said. You already did, Chip. Ridley replied. But after what went on last night... I'm not sure any of us are ready to... Let's just forget about it for now. Let's definitely not talk about it or anything like that. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Well, he did say good, it wasn't good to talk. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, fuck you, Bob Hoskins. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't mean it. Love you. <laughs> that okay with you? Chip asked Kat. She just nodded, not making eye contact, and left the apartment. Hmm. I just gotta know one thing. Redley asked before he left. What was the deal with that book? There's a passage on how to destroy the book. I'd read it a few times before, back in Tokyo. The Book of Improbus? It's gone. Riddy nodded and headed for the door of the apartment as Chip went to his bedroom. Chip, one more thing. Did raising the one again actually ever cross your mind? Before Chip could reply, Ridley cut him off. Never mind. I don't think I want to know. Just, you made the right call at the end of the day. Bruises and cuts, they heal. Depends how deep. <laughs> they just leave a scar and all the chicks dig a scar uh -huh. especially deep emotional ones about when you try to end the world yeah big deep emotional scars never interfere with relationships do they <laughs> chip and ridley exchanged one more glance not the sort you'd give a friend or an enemy but somewhere in between before closing their respective doors isn't that a complete stranger yeah, like the, diff the the exact middle point between a friend and an enemy. Is that a stranger or an acquaintance? So Chip just looked at him like, who are you and what are you doing in my place? Is it sort of like a casual acquaintance, like someone you know at work and you just sort of casually nod to them? <laughs> and then feel I awkward. I know them from somewhere. <laughs> just down the hall of the apartment building, Ridley found Kat holding her stomach. Are you okay? He asked. I'm fine. Just a couple of broken ribs. Maybe we should get you to a hospital. 
that's where I'm going. No, I've had worse. She started to walk away again, and the pair left the building. On the street, before they went their separate ways, Kat said, Hey, Ridley, just how bad could things have got if those demons had raised the wand? They were well paid. They did their job. They were never going to raise the wand. I just <sighs> needed Chip to think they were. With that, Ridley gave a nod and left. Oh my god! Holy fucking shit! That's, that's a gamble. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> well, he's a gambling man! <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Jesus! Oh, okay, so we did question what the demons were up to. Yeah. But it's Ridley that paid them off. With next month's rent. <laughs> <laughs> Upstairs, as soon as Chip's bruises head hit the pillow, he was asleep and remained that while for a long time, feeling like his mind could finally rest, if only for a short time. And that's the end of One in Two, Part Two. Big episode, MC. Yeah. Big, big episode. A lot yeah, going down yeah, in this yeah. one. This feels like the... I don't know, it felt like a big event to the first big thing we've had in Chip since in, the spin-off started. I think in a way it is a kind of end of the Tomorrow Gason part of Chip, if yeah, that makes sense. No, I get what you mean, yeah, absolutely. Because it was sort of, he came in with the whole identity of this is that it is, you know, a spin-off from mm -hmm. Tomorrow Gason, but yeah. this is the whole thing with the one as, in a sense, there's a sense of closure there. Yeah. Now he can sort of start his own identity yeah. as a series. And I guess that's the the gamble Ridley took. Yeah, <laughs> the big fucking gamble. Yeah, it's like it's like literally someone like just the finger on chipped evil switch. <laughs> like, <"Rrr." laughs> but yeah, we got our explanation as to what the demons were doing. Yeah. So I guess Ridley's just been like, hey, I'll give you five bucks if you take this book to an old crumbly church. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> but I think you're exactly right. I think um, this is kind of a way for Chip to set his own path now, away from Tokyo and the gang yeah. and everything and. But, I mean, Ridley's motivation for doing it, I guess this is his attempt at getting Chip to... To I deal. Guess, yeah, because... <laughs> I mean, he didn't try dealing with it, so Ridley had to force it. But no, like, in a way, this kind of gives Chip the temptation or puts the, the potential for temptation there of him... You know, if old evil Chip is there, mm -hmm. he has the book, he could have raised the wand, he yeah. could have done the whole thing again. Yep. But this way, he he it destroys it. He removes the possibility of raising the wand because the the book of improvis is gone now. Yeah, and like you said, literally closes the chapter. Yeah, right? yeah. It, uh, but also in a roundabout way, maybe he's showing Chip that he has still got some good in him. Yeah, true. Like he was given like the chance to be ultimate evil again, but yeah. like he's like literally this wasn't what you wanted. Yeah, you were very messed up and you handled it very badly. Yeah, but you still did the right thing. Yeah, and maybe that's the story he really wanted to tell. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of like that in a way because. Ridley's gone from just kind of like slightly comedy side character mm. to having his own literal demons. Yeah. Uh, and now it'd be able to have the forethought of like helping, I guess, in quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. But this big kind of scheme yeah. to be like, right, I know how to help this guy. I'm going to do it. Because yeah. you don't do that for someone who is just an acquaintance. You know, someone you give a look to. Hey, I'd pay a bunch of demons to <laughs> raise the one for you. Thanks, friends. <laughs> if I go evil, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to see some more interactions. Over. Ridley and Cat got to hang out and do yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh, they've all seen each other's fighting styles, I guess, yeah, and like yeah. bad sides and everything yeah. like that. Uh, it seems Cat isn't quite ready to forgive. For yeah. some reason. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you gave me bruises again, but in the wrong way. <laughs> But I think it was the first kind of coming together of this trio, even though they were fighting a lot of it. Yeah. I think it's kind of set out some other interesting branches, hopefully, that we'll get into That's very true. come the next episode. Mm. Speaking of which, shall we see what the next episode is Let's. called, MC? The next episode is called Kill Me Quick. Is that like Kiss Me Quick? Is I it guess. gonna be like a seaside <laughs> romp? <laughs> or is it gonna be some sort of like film noir type thing? Yes, you'll be so good at writing that. <laughs> film noir by the sea. Well, if you've got any theories as to what Kill Me Quick is going to be about, yeah. <laughs> there's numerous ways in which you can get in touch. You can find us on Facebook. We're at facebook.com slash Podcast, And we are also on Twitter at HowIRippedOff. And you can find our entire back catalogue if you want to go and relive Evil Chip's days and the evil road trip that he went on. <laughs> you can find all the episodes free of charge on SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, iTunes and YouTube. And if you want to tell us about your evil road trips, <laughs> you could do so in the form of a review. And leave a five-star rating for the best thing you saw when you were on an evil road trip. <laughs> Was it the evil killer bees that you saw? <laughs> the evil statues? <laughs> the evil Stop. bus? Yeah. <laughs>